<laughs> Let's talk about what happened yesterday. And boy, some of those boomers were really kind of robust with a lot of that lightning yesterday. None were as severe that I know of, but there were a few gusts of wind from a couple of the storms. They started developing yesterday morning. They moved into central Massachusetts. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. The lightning started firing in the air. And as it came toward Boston, wow, lots of lightning here. And southwest, south southwestern suburbs and moving into the south shore. Man, lots of lightning out of that. That is for sure. And some heavy rains really coming down very hard in spots. Other places only got about a five-minute shower. But anyway, then yesterday afternoon, a few more th showers and storms popped up here in Essex County and that's about it and that's gone and what we have in its wake what we got for rainfall, Attleboro had over an inch, uh, Middleboro had about an inch, Hopkinton had, had almost an inch, three quarters of an inch in Millis, and six tenths down in Plymouth from our WBZ weather watchers. And we're left with this beautiful air this morning, refreshing. You certainly felt it late yesterday. Saw a beautiful sunset and the temperatures this morning, look at the difference. About 20 to 30 degrees lower this morning than it was at this time yesterday morning. That's how different now to chilly. I actually could say how chilly the air mass is. 48 at Concord, New Hampshire, 45 in Sanford, Maine, 51 in Fitchburg and Norwood, and 50 in Taunton, down over the Cape. Some lower 60s there. It hasn't got quite as cool down there yet, but it'll be, be cool down there tomorrow morning, that's for sure. So for the Cape and the Islands, it's in the mid 70s for highs today, upper 70s tomorrow, and lower 80s on Monday. How about that for a hat trick? Beautiful, sunshiny weather on the Cape all three of those days. If you go into the mountains, it's fantastic. Visibility is excellent. No haze anywhere so it's a great weekend to be camping and hiking and boating up north um, it's going to be 78 today about 84 tomorrow and then heating up to 90 on monday so it's perfect from the mountaintops to the seashore we got lower 80s away from the ocean about 75 at the beaches this afternoon and across the country it is heating up it's still hot out there, and this is going to expand right back in New England. On the back side of this high-pressure center here, which is really ridging eastward and supplying us with the cooler and much drier air that we have right now. It's pushing it all the way to the south. So at the beaches this afternoon, about 75. East-southeast breeze, 4 to 12 miles an hour. That's it. we got a high tide uh, this morning around 6.30 or so. Another one this evening just before 7 o'clock. So that means it's low right in the uh, early part of the afternoon. Lows tonight, upper 40s to mid-50s in the suburbs to about 62 in Boston. You got 80s tomorrow, even at the coastline, near 80, but probably about 76, 78 in the afternoon. We have a tropical depression off the coastline of North Carolina, just off Cape Hatteras. It is likely to be developing, according to the National Hurricane Center, eventually, and may become Tropical Storm Chris. There's Boston, but it's quite out, far out at sea, so I'm not too concerned about it. Most signs suggest it should stay at sea, so we just may have some building waves on the New England coastline in a few days, assuming that storm develops. But after a picture-perfect weekend, 92 on Monday, 95 on Tuesday, it'll be cooler at south-facing coastal areas. Only one humid day. Looks like that'll be Tuesday.